In this video, I'm going to show you how to use test boxes. This um, command is important, especially when you want to draw attention to a specific test. They are also helpful when you need to move test around within your document. What allows you to format test boxes and the test inside of them with different styles and effects. I'm going to show you how to do all of that in this video. First and foremost, this is a flyer, as you can see here. So this flyer here, I can, you see, it's just about annual clearance. I'm going to show you how to apply test box. You go to the insect tab, hover your mouse to where you have the test group. And that is a text box. So you click on the more arrow. So these here are different types of text boxes that you can use, but I'll just go ahead and choose the draw test box. So I, I'm going to have an empty box. So I'll draw this. All right. So I have my test box. So once you draw a test box, you will notice that a new tab appears here, which is the format tab showing you commands that you can use to format your test. So inside here, I will paste what I already um, written out. So this is about annual clearance and this is what I'm advertising. All right. So here, test box allows you to format the inside of your test box. So here, I'm just going to select what I have there. Go to the home tab, choose the design that I want. I want something bold. So I'll choose that sec, um, stuff. I'm going to just select the text box there. Now go to home tab. Here I have, I'll choose something a little bit better than what I have. Maybe comic. Yeah, that is okay for me. So and extend that section all right so i can also resize my test box just click hold that section and drag through based on what exactly i want so i want it to be like that i can also click at this edge and make it smaller you can what allows you like i earlier said to reshape your test box so once it's selected by clicking on the text box click by the format tab all right and there are different commands so in the insect shapes group these here from this section you will be able to change the shape of the test box to what you want choose the rectangle rounded corners i'm sure this will let me see the various part of my document so with this looking at this document you would notice clicking at elsewhere elsewhere you would notice that this is a white background you can change it to the color background that you have here in this document by clicking on the test box itself now it's in the format tab where i have shape styles here i can choose my shape styles okay you can choose the type of shapes shape that you want let's choose something now that's what we have okay that is the shape styles i'm gonna undo what i have there go to shape fill from the shape fill i'm gonna move this a little bit away from that section so you can see what i'm doing so from shape fill i would probably choose what color that i want remember it's a flyer and you want your advertisement to be popping there you want people to see what it is you're advertising so you might want to choose a color a sharp color that would draw the attention of people no that's not quite okay i'm gonna work with the orange so i'll click on that now looking at this i can change the shape to a 3d style so click on that shape effects so these are different things you can actually um, do with the text box all right okay so i'm just gonna use that yellow because i have a border with a yellow 
um, design there so that will be fine if you look by this section it's um, layout option that if you want to wrap it test you can click the wrap wrap tight let's use the wrap tight this will enable me to easily move my work around and put it where I want it to be okay let's let it be there so this is what I'm advertising people can easily see what it is I'm talking about you can also change the font color all right by going to the home tab the font group and there we go you may want to change the font color to what you want people to see I think the black there it's okay by me so that's okay I'm gonna insect another text box in this text box I'm drawing this one and this one I will put in the company's name and the address where the company is located which is very important like you notice I already typed that out so I'm just gonna copy and paste it all right so that's what I have the grafted technology and that is the address and tell number of the organization so this is it I may decide to leave this like that but I'm just gonna go ahead and format it like I earlier showed you okay I'm going to change the, the text the shape of this text box to something different the call out okay this is more like a call out okay this is letting people know where the company is located so I'm gonna work with this I'm sure this is fine for me enough room to showcase the company detail and um, with this I can reshape this section just to probably make this look like that or annual clearance so I can direct it to this section or I'll just say um, direct it to the annual clearance simply letting people know that this particular company is having an annual clearance okay I think this is fine go to that and increase the name of the company so it's bold and I want to change the background of that so by selecting the text box I'll go to that format and here I can fill put a shape fill shape fill something really good okay so I want to use that green lighter green color there mm -hmm. now I'm going to apply shape effects to that I have different shape effects here not that one preset so I'm going to be choosing this okay they're really nice shape effects I'm gonna wrap this test here to tight this will let me nicely move this move that text box around and let's make adjust that like so okay this is how you can actually use text box to design your flyer even your word document okay now that you know what to do with text box i hope that you will visit and use your text box the way you like in your document i'll see you in my next video